Hey guys, this is Aaron Cortez, content writer for the community page at bikebandit.com. So today we're down here in San Diego at Mule Motorcycles. They're a custom bike builder down here in San Diego that builds some amazing work. Um, Richard Pollock is the, the brains behind the operation here. Um, he's got a ton of industry experience and he's built some really amazing machines here. And we're, we're lucky enough to be here interviewing him. He's gonna tell you all about what goes into making one of his bikes. And um, you know, we're gonna start off by having you explain what exactly, you know, you're known for the street tracker, a, a style of bike that's like a, a flat track racing bike that's built for the street. Would you mind explaining in your own words what makes a street tracker? A street tracker is basically styled after a flat track race bike that's been raced for 60 years in the United States. Uh, it's a lightweight bike, no frills, uh, usually solo uh, seat, super fast, uh, has 19 inch wheels, you know, like you see on these bikes that are um, a dirt track style tire. It's a spec tire basically. Mm -hmm. And they're very popular uh, for years, uh, back in the old days in the 60s, 70s, guys would take their old race bike and put lights on it and a license plate and a horn and away they'd go. And the they good old a, days. A, a real, yeah, the good old <laughs> days. A real trick, lightweight street bike that, you know, they could go out and zoom around on. So what got you into being a custom bike builder? Did you, when you were young, did you, as you say, you just wanted to be a custom bike builder or something you just kind of fell into over the years and it evolved? Fell into it. Uh, you I have started, a racing background, right? Racing. Uh, I started out, you know, riding bicycles and, you know, jumping over dirt mounds and then finally got a, a bike when I was 16, motorcycle when I was 16, uh, crashed into a car, got hurt. Uh, no more motorcycles for you. That's what my parents said. But later I got a dirt bike, started racing motocross. So I always had bikes. Then I decided, hey, I'd like to work in a motorcycle shop. Went to motors, you know, went to uh, uh, work in a motorcycle shop and another shop and another shop and then moved from Florida to California and it just grew and grew. And just bikes have always been, you know, a big part of my life, if not the biggest part. Right. So you said, you, when we were talking about, uh, you know, your racing background a little bit earlier, you said you were talking about how your racing background goes into, you know, what makes your bikes special. Can you talk a little bit about that? I see a lot of bikes built uh, on the internet and magazines that don't look correct or they don't look like they would be a good thing when you actually went to ride them. Right. Some things aren't as well thought out or wouldn't be reliable and, and, and you know uh, the trained eye you can pick that stuff up. Coming from a racing background you, you can't have problems at the track or you, you will have problems at the track. I mean you blow up engines and you, you, you fall down and bend things and things like that will happen. So in the racing situation, you learn no problems. I got to limit, you know, I got to get reliability has got to be number one. Safety has got to, you know, it's got to not toss me off. Um, so that goes into, that experience goes into what I build because I don't want problems. I don't want a customer to have a problem. Plus, I don't want to have to redo things. So Right. It's, I thought that was really cool when we were talking because you're building bikes that absolutely, you know, they look amazing. But you can also really count on them to perform, even if they're being ridden hard. You know, you mentioned you, you can take one of your bikes out and ride it pretty hard in the canyons. And, and really, <laughs> yeah, and, and re you can really count on it. And I mean, with, these, with the look that these bikes have and that reliability, it's, that's really cool. So um, the next thing I wanted to ask you is when, you know, there's so many different bike builders out there. You talked about how you see, you know, bikes on the internet and in magazines. They look really cool. Sometimes the style is amazing. But you know, maybe they don't always run as good as they look. It's kind of, you know, I think that's a thing that is in a lot of custom bikes. As a bike builder, what makes you different? What makes me me is, I, every, I think every builder has this, this little art thing going on in their head. Sure, yeah. And they want their bikes to look a certain way. And the, the look, they have, they have a saying, form follows function. If, if everything works good and it's laid out good, and it's aerodynamic and the power's right and the, and the pipe functions correctly, it will have certain dimensions, wheels, suspension. If everything works the way it should, the bike will end up looking pretty good. Mm -hmm. I mean, if, if it's assembled nicely and, you know, with, with some level of craftsmanship. The way my art view when I look at um, building a motorcycle is like aircraft or 
aerospace or if you were to look at a, you know, they had the cowling or the body off a Formula One car or an Indy car or the hood up on a NASCAR, you, you, would, you would look at those components and the layout and you just go, oh my God. But it's not, it's not chrome, it's not painted right. with flames and skulls and all that. It's just, it's, it's mechanical art. Right. So I think what the, the style of bike that I try to build is more not artistic style, but mechanical art. No, I really like that you said mechanical art because as we've taken a look around your shop and looked at some of the bikes, you know, the, the fixtures and just the machining on some of these things, it's, it's really beautiful, but it's not made to look that way. You don't have a lot of airbrush and custom painted right. stuff, and there's nothing like that. But the machining is really, you know, very tight tolerances, right? Very clean machinings. You know, it's, it's, it's really nice to look at. I was holding some of your parts, and I was really amazed at, you know, the kind of quality that, that goes into them. Well, we, we have to make a lot of parts. When you do that, you have to make what I call interface parts. And you can't just say, oh, yeah, within a quarter inch, that's okay. It, right. It's got to fit perfectly. So when you, when you have to have a, a perfect fit, then you end up with a part that has to be uh, precision machined. When you get it done, you get it back, there's a beautiful part. Mm. You know, and then you can polish it or anodize it or powder coat it or you know, whatever the finish requirement is, right. you know, whatever that customer wants. All right, well, thank you so much, Richard. It's been great interviewing you. You really, you know, your work and your story here is really inspirational, you know. And for you guys, for anybody out there who's interested in doing any kind of, you know, from simple repairs and simple maintenance in, in your own uh, garage to full-on custom builds, Bike Man is the place to shop. We have all kinds of tools and accessories. Uh, a lot of them that Richard uses in his own shop, we have it all available on our website. And if you're more interested in uh, some of Richard's work, you can view all his work, um, past builds and current builds that are in progress on MuleMotorcycles.net. You guys won't be just disappointed. There's some amazing work on there. I know you guys will love it as much as we did. Well, thanks a lot, and we'll see you next time.